वेलकम टू इट्स रफिक इन टूडेज वीडियो विल डिसकस अबाउट क्लास सिक्स एंड सेवेन क्लास सेवेन एंड एट प्रैक्टिकल फॉर एच टी एम एल एंड फोर डेट वी हैव टू मेक लॉग इन और रेजिस्ट्रेशन पेज बाई यूजिंग एच टी एम एल फॉर्म फर्स्ट वील लर्न हाउ वी कैन मेक ए लॉग इन पेज फोर डेट फर्स्ट वी हैव टू ओपन नोट पेड फोर डेट वी कैन प्रिस दिस टू की विंडोज प्लस आर देर टाइप नोट पेड एंड हिट द एंटर की नोट पेड उल ओपन नाउ एट फर्स्ट ही विल राइट इट्स टी एम एल देन सेकेंड लाइन हैड इन साइड हैड विल राइट टाइटल एंड इन टाइटल फर्स्ट वी आर मेकिंग लॉग इन पेज सो लॉग इन then title will be close after that we'll close the head after closing head we will start body and in body we'll give the background to the page so b z color equal you can give any color let it be yellow and we can also give the text color for that we'll use the attribute as text let it be red so now we'll close the body tag and remember uh, while we are using attribute for any tag then we don't have to close the bracket of the tag at that time moment only after writing all the attributes we'll have to close the bracket now we'll go to next line we'll use center tag and here we'll use h1 that means heading level 1 here log in h1 close center close and center spelling is c e n t e r not c e n t r e okay now as we are creating a form so first we'll have to make form and there are some attributes let it skipped these are not so necessary for class 7 and 8 level but uh, if we want to actually make a workable form then we have to use the attributes so let it be form only now we'll have to we need two things for a login form username and password and sometimes we also required one tick box for save the password so first we will use uh, one just normal text for that we'll write username and here we'll use input type equal within double inverted comma text and name equal we'll write user name bracket close and here we'll give br br is used to send the cursor to the next line otherwise uh, everything will display in same line now we'll go to next line here we'll write password and again this tag only input type now instead of text we'll write password name equal we'll give password and again br and suppose we'll have one tick box Your user can select whether he want to save password or not. For that, we'll write input type here checkbox name save password. now break it close and here we'll write save password br at last we'll have to create the buttons for that we'll write input type as we are submitting the information to server so submit then name login 
and value login after writing all the controls these things are known as control in a form we will close the form tag then we will close body tag after it will close html tag whatever we write for the page everything should be included within html tag now we'll have to save the page for that we'll go to file menu save as we will select the location i am selecting the location x as desktop and we'll give the page name here log in dot html now let's see the output this is my page so this is the output but uh, the save password that line came in same line i think i have forgot to give the br oh i forgot to close the bracket for that reason again save so this way it appear now if we want to um, write the control name like username password at top then the next box that also we can do just we have to add br here just we'll have to add br here then the text box will be transferred to the next line now we'll see so username password save password and login so this way was username one two three four password so this this way create uh, you can create a login page now uh, this is the code you can pause the video and check the code what code i have written here now we'll create another page where we will create a registration page again we'll open the notepad we'll take a new file here first html then head title here we'll get registration title then head this head is closing now body busy color here i am giving pink text red now after body tag we'll give center tag h1 registration h1 close center close if we don't close the center everything will appear at the center position now we'll have to write form for creating the form now first we suppose have to write the name of the user for that we'll write name br then we'll write input type equal text and name equal name again br after name we'll write date of birth br then input type here we'll write date name 
we will give the name of the control as date of birth and BR. After name, <coughs> suppose we will write a uh, gender, there will make uh, radio buttons. User can select male or female. For that, write gender ER. Here we will write input type radio name sender value m and here just we'll write mail again input will not uh, keep br here because we are going to write uh, display both the radio button in same line <coughs> input type again radio then name gender text uh, sorry value F and here we'll write female. Now we'll write BR. We'll go to the next line. After gender, we took name, date of birth, gender, then we can take email ID. So email here we'll write input type email and name equal email br now we will need the phone number for that again phone here we will write input type number then name equal phone and close and br again now we need address or uh, password then address password input type password name password now address for address we need a little bigger box for that we have to use text area address here we are going to use uh, text area instead of input text area together rows means how many lines I need three lines calls means how many text per line I need 22 text so 22 calls then bracket close again text area close now we need the buttons for that we'll write input type submit then name submit register value register and one more button to clear the form for it input type reset then name reset value reset after writing all the controls we'll close the form then body and at last 
HTML. Now we'll have to save the page for that we can use shortcut control and S. We'll give that page name as registration dot HTML and location X desktop only save. Now let's see the output. This is our login page and registration. This one is our registration page and that uh, something is wrong. I think that's why buttons are not displaying address text area text area spelling is wrong that's what save uh, again we'll reload the page this button are displayed in same line and to transfer the button in, into the next line we will use BR here. Save. Now the buttons go to the next line. So this is our registration page. Here we have a username we can write here username here ABC then date of birth we can select from the calendar gender we can select from here email you see if i write just random text and click on register it will not accept the email because proper format is required for email phone number here we cannot write abcd we have to write text password whatever we write it will be hidden and if you want to see we have to click on the i button so we can see and as address as uh, we i said uh, address will make a bigger button a bigger text area that's why we use text area here and here we can write three lines of text we can write more lines but we'll get a scroll bar here at a time we can see only three lines as you can see here there is a scroll bar and by clicking on submit button we can submit the information here as i have not written any program to submit the information so just it will do nothing and if we want to clear the form then just we can click on reset button whatever i have typed here it will erase from here as you can see so this way we can make the registration page this is the code for the registration page you can pause the screen and you can see it and this is the login page let me show you side by side this is registration page and this one is login page so that's all for today thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye